What's up everyone? So I'm playing some Metal Gear Solid 5 here. Now I know this game is very, very old. Um, but I'm, I'm very hyped for Death Stranding. So I've, I've selected this on PS now. And I just decided to go through it again and bring some videos for you guys. Because when I did play it a few years back, um, I did come up with a lot of original strategies. Because I was working on a platinum, a platinum guide at the time. Um, but I never got round to finishing it because it's a massive game and I, I didn't quite know how to put it all together into um, you know one sort of series of videos so I finally decided I'm going to revisit it but now I'm just going to um, provide some small guide videos and I'm going to do um, some optimal strategies for each mission I think that would be a better way to do it than what I did intend to um, all them years back when I didn't actually get nothing done all right, so what we're doing here and a lot of videos, I'm going to be showing you the fastest and best way and easiest way also, like with most of my guide videos. Um, I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to do all, all tasks first time, um, only in the missions that allow it, because some missions you just can't complete tasks um, first, first playthrough because um, you will not have a certain ability or something. Um, so we're going to be doing as much as we can first time, and I will be doing S ranks as well. And I will be just be adding a few um, misc guides after that. Like I'm going to show you how to get little um, little chicken that infinitely. Um, so that's like overpowered mode, god mode in a way. I know I'd spawn that within three minutes um, every time. Um, I know how to farm resources. There's a lot of um, sites out there that say um, the new updates have stopped. Well, it's not as easy to farm materials now, but it is. And I will be getting a video up for that later, but that's going to come a bit later on because that's not till mission 30 or something, which you need to unlock in order to do that quickly. And I'm quite a fair way off there. Well, mission, it might be mission 12. I can't remember, but a guide will pop up once it's done. I'm still doing a hat in time, by the way. All right, so enough of me bickering. Um, so first we're doing, we're on mission one. Well, not mission one, the prologue. We're on the prologue mission, and I'm going to show you how to S rank. I'm going to show you now how to get S rank and complete all tasks first time your first playthrough so you never have to play through this um, prologue mission again it's quite a long one there's a lot of story elements here and it's, it drags a lot because some of it you're crawling along, along the floor so um, doing it only once um, you may it may actually be useful to you because redoing this prologue is pain in the backside so yeah I'm gonna show you now how to get S rank and all tasks uh, your very first playthrough on the prologue and I'm going to make it really easy for you all right so let's begin um, so here I am um, I've just got through my first few scenes um, all right so first you want to go into options this is very important now this is your own preference but for me I need to have camera Y axis on normal and you want to go into game settings and change reflex mode to off Make sure you turn that off, and it's only for this um, prologue mission, by the way. Make sure you apply these changes and save them. There we go. Um, I'm also going to put in subtitles on. That's up to you guys if you want subtitles on, but I'm going to turn them on. Um, okay. So, yeah. So we've we've changed some settings. All you need to do now is follow your naked dude over there. Just follow the crack. Follow the crack, and you can't go wrong. All right, so yeah, like I said, very, very slow going. It really drags on. He's been in a coma for nine years. Come on, you've got to give him a bit of a... Um, can't expect too much from the poor guy. Yeah, a lot of cutscenes. You can skip these. Just press left. Press the touchpad in on the left of it. And um, then you've got the option skip. Pressing left touchpad as well. Just pause the game, by the way. And later on on the next missions when you can use the right touchpad um, that will open up your map but uh, time will count while you're on the map because S rank um, is related to time as well so you do need to get through this first um, get through this quick so if you want S rank so you do want to skip cutscenes and um, if it is your first playthrough and you want to watch them you can try and if you don't get S rank uh, then you will have to redo it later on, unfortunately, just to you know, just to do it quick and skip the cutscenes. But uh, yeah, you're just making way along here. 
I'm only showing you this bit so you know exactly what you need to do to get through it fast. It is fairly straightforward. You only follow you just following the crack guy. You're just following him to begin with. I mean, you do want to try not to die, and because if you die, that will impact your score. And as as I said, and be quick. That's it, really. We don't really engage in any combat apart from the very end. There's a there's a point where there's a few enemies. Um, there's two we have to kill, and the rest we can just li literally run past them all. Oh, a little cheek trying to pop out there. All right, so another cutscene skip. All right, so we'll be getting up soon. Movement will um, increase a bit very, very soon. Come on, Snake, almost, almost up on your legs. Yes, yes, no, 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 no. All right, we've got to do some more crawling. It's got to be the weirdest crawl ever. Coming from Solid Snake as well. That is pitiful. I expect more from him. I guess he is downwind from a crack guy, isn't he? Probably making him a bit dizzy. Alright, okay, okay, alright. You're up on your feet now, so you can move a bit faster now. So yeah, just keep kicking him. The um, adrenaline, adrenaline's kicked in. I think that's, I think that's what he gave him in the cutscene, adrenaline. Alright, it's so another cutscene, just skip this baby. Now, as soon as, after that one, quickly come in this door. This Hold X, you're going to prone, and then you're just going to crawl. More crawling. Yeah, once you gain control, um, just follow him. Yeah, just follow him into here in the um, wards. Yeah, another cutscene. So many cutscenes to begin with. That's why um, it, it, that's why it drags, and it's a good idea to um, try and do it all first time. All right. So once you do gain control, come out here. You'll see a guy. You know, I don't know what to call him. Yeah. So just follow follow uh, Mr. Crack here. I'm going to call him Mr. Crack. And we just walk straight past him. Come to this wall. And then just uh, head down here. You gotta be careful on that because that helicopter can see you and it will kill you. But it's not too much of a not it's not too much of a problem if you do die, by the way. Um, so as soon as you gain control here, you can't skip this bit. Just sprint sprint to the door behind you. Yeah, turn the camera around and then sprint to that open door over there. Once cut scene begins, you can skip this one. There we go. Now head downstairs. Head downstairs, then just head here. And now head back up. And you want to head to this uh, cage here. Well, not, so it's not a cage, the bar, it's the um, bar door. Now wait for your friend, Mr. Crack, to come over. He should walk down and then he should come back up. There we go. If you don't come back up, just head over to him and that should get him to, that should prompt him to come up to you. Right, another cutscene, skip, 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 skip. I've been doing a lot of skipping lately. Yeah, now just barge through all these. None of these have a crack showing, so why is Mr. Crack? Oh, definitely, that's, the, that's him. Yeah, so once you zoom in on this, um, this crack, you can skip that cutscene. Um, so he's going to get up now, he's going to run into one of the beds. There we go. Then once you gain control here. Yeah, once you gain control, you want to just um, crawl under these, crawl under this... Um, Curtain here. Why are you crawling backwards, Snake? Oh, oh, we spun around. Yeah. Uh, wait in this um, central, central um, bed. Wait for the guard to come and go through that one just in front of you on the end. And 
and once he leaves, once he passes back through the curtain, and crawl back underneath like so. Now you just need to wait here now. Don't worry, that um, that guard can't see you through that gap for some reason. Now you just need to wait here till he's cleared every bed space. Yeah, this, 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 this prologue, what I'm showing you here probably may not seem that useful to begin with. Um, but what I will tell you, it, what I'm going to tell you, the, the better advice will come towards the end of the prologue. Um, so once you've got control after the um, cutscenes, you want to crawl out, head over here, back the way you came. No, in fact, that's a lie. Yeah, you want to crawl out, um, head into this door over here. Try not to get too close, it's cracks, it smells off. <laughs> Ugh, I'm dizzy there. Yeah, now you want to go prone. Just crawl after him. Now when he says play dead, just play dead. Now we've got a minute because you can't, you've got to wait about a minute before you can skip the cutscene. Um, so as I was saying, yeah, the advice I've given you here won't be that useful until right at the end of um, this prologue, nearer to the end anyway. When the combat begins, um, but all the other t all the other missions, I'll be giving you a lot of useful advice throughout them, which I'm hoping you won't really find anywhere else because I do do a lot of testing myself with every single um, mechanic. Um, okay, so you can now skip cutscene there. Mr. Crack's going to wee himself. Yeah, so now going to skip the cutscene. We're almost almost there. Here we. Excuse me, heal yourself, heal yourself here. Yeah, sorry, you probably notice I'm looking up where I'm normally looking straight on my um, webcam. I'm actually, situate, I've situated it downstairs for now actually, so I'm getting a bit annoyed sitting in a kid's bedroom all the time, webcamming. It's just a bit easy down here. All right, so once you exit that bit, come down here. Um, as you can see, there's stairs are on fire, so we'll be going through this door in a second. Mr. Crack's going to come through and open the door for you. Come on, Cracky. Yeah, he's going to open this door for you. He's got legs like a woman. Go and open the door. I'm stuck. Yeah, so um, when you come in here, if he lets me, Take the left route around the pillars, and uh, Mr. Crack's going to kill this guy. There we go. Head over to him, and you're going to pick up his weapon. Yeah, skip the skip the cutscene. You got weapon now. Um, as soon as you gain control, hold L2. It will give you a tutorial. You may want to read it. Hold L2 and shoot this. Press R1, go into first person if you want. It's a little bit easier to be accurate that way. Uh, yep, yeah, once you've done that, head down here. There's going to be two guards to kill. Um, just aim at one at a time. Just aim, fire, let go of aim, aim again, fire. Then that, that way, every single bullet, you'll auto aim onto them. Do like so, that's it. That's why you need, you need reflex off, because if you didn't have reflex off, it might have activated then. And one of the tasks is um, connected to um, one of the tasks is connected to not using the reflex. Right, so we're going to head down here now. It's going to be a cutscene. Um, straight after this cutscene, we're going to sprint for the main door. So skip. Now just sprint down the stairs in front. Pass it. Don't worry. Don't worry about them. Don't worry, don't worry. There we go. Just going to sprint to the door. Um, now it's going to be a few. There's going to be a few. Um, it's going to be about three parts. So you're going to uh, keep regaining control in that lobby. You need to just keep running to the front door. But one of the times, you're going to, there's going to be a button prompt. It'll be square to dive. Make sure you do that dive. A little chicken dive, or whatever they're called. All right. So skip the cutscene. Now run towards. Uh, where? Where am I? Yeah. 
Oh, it's a bit disorientated there. Run towards the door, door again. Press square to quick dive when the prompt appears. That's it. Dodge stack. Now you're going to gain control again. Just head back to the front door. There we go. Um, if you've done that bit without using reflex, um, you should. That will complete a task. You just need to complete that bit. Reflex is where um, it slows down time when enemy discovers you. It slows down time for about two seconds. Just gives you a chance to get an upper hand. But we've turned it off. Now this is the other uh, difficult part. What you want to do now? Um, the game's saved just before this section. So what you want to do now? You want to close application. Uh, you'll find out why we're doing this in a second. You want to upload your save or make a backup. Make a backup of your save just where that um, guy on the horse, the, f the fire guy on the horse is uh, chasing you. So I just want to back up our save now. Upload to online storage. There we go. Because it can be difficult to tell when you have actually completed this task. You can't tell until you've actually completed the prologue and by that point if you don't fail it and um, you can't reload checkpoints it's already saved and it means you've got to redo the whole the whole of the prologue again just to do that end section which only lasts a few minutes and but this way we can keep retrying it until we manage to complete that second task now what the second task is um, you can't let the, the flame guy damage you um, now he's got he's got two attacks well Sort of three, I guess, because that's one way. If he gets too close, he will attack you, but that shouldn't be happening anyway. But so there's two you really need to worry about. And that's one, well, one you need to worry about, in fact, but he does two. And one of them, he, he makes flame pillars rise from the ground. Now, if that damages you, it doesn't count. So don't worry about that one. It's the one where he, he, he sort of throws like fire. They're like light. They look like lightning bolts, but a fire, sort of rays, rays of fire. He'll throw rays of fire at you, about four or five come out of him at a time. Um, when he's going to do that attack, he will sort of bend down on his horse. He'll, he'll look like he's sort of <laughs> constipating. He'll, he'll basically be charging up his attack. And after a few seconds, he'll release it at you, um, and that will damage you, and that will void the task. Which is, the task, the task is um, complete the... Um, the complete last section without taking any damage from the fire guy, whatever his name is. Um, so yeah, you just need to make sure like that when he's charging at you and he's bending down, make sure you attack him. Just keep letting go of aim and then pressing it again to uh, re-auto aim onto him, re-lock on. There you go, you see he sort of charges up and runs to you. See that's a flame pillar, so they don't count. And you will normally know when you actually take proper damage because it'll say hit taken on the left. Yeah, press circle to reload. Try not to reload when he's getting too close to you or... Oh, I see, I've got to be quick. See, he threw him then, but luckily they missed me because I just um, shot, shot him just before and it stunned him and made him miss. So just keep him at distance. There you go, the flame pillars again, like I say, but they don't matter. There you go, he missed again because I shot him. Um, you can change shoulder like that. Depending on what direction he's coming from, sometimes it's best to be on this side and sometimes it's best to be on the other shoulder. So like I say, um, if you do get hit, you know where it says hits taken on the side of the screen. But he missed again. You don't have to download your save, all you need to do, press left on the touchpad, checkpoint and restart from checkpoint. That will just restart you, let's start this section and that will not save any damage. I think some places on the internet say that that will, that will, not, that will not avoid any damage basically. Any damage you've occurred will save. It doesn't. It doesn't. All you need to do is restart checkpoint and that will let you restart the whole, the whole of the fire chase. Um, downloading your save is only it's only used for um, if you complete the whole of a prologue where it saves at the end and you haven't completed it. That's the only time you need to download your save and try again. All right. Um, so yeah, luckily he just, just missed again. Now when he comes up here, soon he's going to come charging off and he's going to be right next to you and he's going to come on the side. 
Just have to be ready to shoot him. That's it. Because he'll damage you if not. There we go. Damn, I've got one bullet left. Quick, quick, quick. Right, it's starting to get close now. Keep him at distance. Keep him at distance. Keep shooting him. Keep shooting him. Keep shooting him. Keep shooting him. Keep going. There we go. I'm hoping that is it. I didn't get any actual damage where it says hits taken. So I think I am safe. But there has been moments before where I think I'm safe and I haven't been. Yes, I've done them all. See, mission tasks one and two complete. Um, so that's it, guys. That's out. And then we've got S rank as well. And most of our points come from the time. We com completed it in 16 minutes. So it's very important you don't watch cutscenes. Now, I said at the start of the video, um, this shows how to complete it on your first playthrough. But the thing is, you'll probably want to watch a cutscene. So this will show you how to complete all tasks at least. And if you don't, if you do watch cutscenes, you just may have to get S rank later. So yeah, that's it, guys. If you do get to the screen and you didn't complete a second task, um, there it is. It's just um, on the top right. See it on the bottom. Uh, sorry, top right. Completed the mission without allowing the man on fire to attack even once after meeting up with Ocelot. Now he can attack you. I'm not sure why it says that. He can attack you. Can you? He can use the flame pillars. He just can't hit you with the. Um, you know, kaboo, kaboo, kaboo. <laughs> the fire rays of whatever they are, you just can't attack you with them. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Like I say, um, if you haven't completed that second task, just exit the game, download that save back, and just retry that last section until you do it. So that's it, guys. Um, I hope that's going to help. I'm going to bring out be bringing out a lot of missions like this. I have spoke quite a lot during this one, but. I will start. I will probably talk a lot less on the rest, just so um, you, you sort of know what you you know what you can expect now from these guides. I hope um, they are going to be. You will be seeing a lot of original strategies here, guys. So please, if you are planning to play this, these will help you out, out a lot more so than any others out on the net. I hope. I hope they do. Anyway, anyway, guys. So um, I hope that helped. Um, yeah, just keep an eye out for my other guys if you're interested in my gameplay, my um, videos for this game, and I'll catch you later.